816, welcome back to Breakfast Television. Thanks for starting your day with us. Amanda Nash joining us from the Heart and Stroke Foundation because they just released a report and we want to share with Canadians uh, exactly what it is and what it says about us and our report card as far as our health goes. But first I want to know why we did this report. Why do we do something like this? Okay, we did stroke? this report to look at the modifiable risk factors, um, health behaviors okay. of baby boomers. And we also know that although Canadians are living longer, Statistics Canada does show that there's a 10 year gap between how long they live and how long they live in health. So the reality check is that Canadians um, will spend the last decade of their life in sickness and disability, most likely due to heart disease, stroke, and other chronic diseases. Okay, so we're looking at this because these are all factors that we can uh, influence and can exactly. have a real positive end yes. to our life. Yes, and unfortunately, most Canadian baby boomers think that they are healthier than this self-reported data showed that they are. 80% of them said that they think their doctor would classify them as being healthy. Okay. However, their self-reported lifestyle information didn't show that. Okay, so most of them think that most of us think we're yes. healthy, even though we're, the the things we're doing in our life say we're not. Exactly, but the good news is, 80% of your risk for heart disease and stroke can be uh, prevented through lifestyle. So okay. by looking at these five modifiable risk factors, we can take control and decrease our risk. Okay, lay them on me. What are what are my five? Okay, we have physical activity. We have healthy food choices. Okay. So managing your stress, limiting your alcohol intake, and being smoke free. Now, are those expressed in any particular order? Is there one thing we should be tackling as Canadians? It's very personal, so every okay. individual will have their own different risk factors, and you want to make sure that you're looking at all five to embrace a healthy life and decrease that 10-year gap. Okay, so that, but that 10-year gap can divide it up. I can, uh, I can actually add years to my life if I cut out smoking. You can add quality years to your life, yes. So if you quit smoking, for example, you can increase your quality years by two and a half years. Now, unfortunately, 21% of Canadian baby boomers are smokers. So we want to try and get those 21% to quit smoking and increase that quality time in their life. So there's a couple of important things there I want to touch on. You said uh, two and a half years by quitting smoking, yes. which is not a small amount of time. That's a, no, it's a large amount of time. And you said quality years. These aren't, quality just, years. These aren't just years on the planet. This is the last decade of your life living in quality health free or limiting your sickness and your disability. Okay, so there are mitigating factors in everything we do. There's ways that we can help ourselves. One of those is going to be diet. So coming up, you got uh, what looks to be a fantastic healthy meal for us. What are you making? We're going to be making some sweet potato and chicken quesadillas. Okay. We have lots of veggies because we know that 85% of baby boomers are not consuming enough vegetables. And by eating a healthy diet, we can add three years of quality life. So we can add, if you could smoke in and have more quesadillas, I get five and a half years right there. That's right. There you go. That's not a bad way to do things. We'll put that recipe on breakfasttelevision.ca, but if you stay tuned, coming up, we're actually going to make that recipe as well. Talk a little bit more about the study and the small things we can all do to make sure we have quality years at the end. That and more coming up on BT.